let's have a quick unboxing of the Samsung Note 10. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Mr. Game here. Today, I have yet another exciting unboxing, which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Let's take a look what's inside. Before we even unbox, let's have a quick look at the surface of the box. We see just an S Pen smack right in the middle. Not sure whether are they selling the phone or are they selling the pen. Of course, this version, they are really hard selling the S Pen usage because you can use it for your presentation, for drawing, etc. So over here, I have a Note 10 Plus at 256GB in Aura Grow. This Note 10 also comes with 3 color aura grow aura black and aura white i don't know why they call it on aura white and black doesn't seem all right to me but the aura grow seems very interesting this time round. so long story short let's cut to the unboxing itself so over at the back you will find yourself another box which inside they have the promo card, the SIM ejection tool and also a manual which included in English and Mandarin format but these are quick start guide that nobody read so we will just quickly run through and put it aside Next will be the main hero itself which is Note 10 in Aura Grove Beneath it, there's a sheet of paper separating the charger and also the earpiece. First thing we see will be the USB Type-C charging brick, followed by the AKG USB Type-C earpiece. As you guys know that Note 10 has finally removed away their 3.5mm headphone jack. After several years, they decided to take out for this version. Inside, you will be finding yourself a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable which is included inside the box. So let's take a moment to enjoy the Aura Grow. As you can see, it is like a rainbowish color. So it's prone to have fingerprint because it's highly gross. In order to get lesser fingerprint smudges, make sure you get a clear case because if you have selected such a beautiful color, make sure that you can show it off. If not, what's the point of selecting Aura Grow? We can just get a black one. So below the phone, you will see a USB Type-C speaker and also a S Pen slot. At the side, this is a very nice rainbowy color. No button, very clean, very slick. On the other side, there is three buttons. One will be the on-off slash C button, followed by the volume up and down. <music> And last but not least will be the SIM card tray and also a speaker grill. So at the back will be the main highlight of this phone which comes with three different camera lens. One is the ultra wide 16 megapixel at 1, 2, 3 angle followed by the ultra 12 megapixel 77 degree angle. And last but not least will be the telephoto at 12 megapixel 45 degree angle. And if we even dive deep into it, there is this phone has this depth vision camera which consists of two physical sensors and allows Note 10 to accurately separate the subject from the surrounding because this way it can define the edge of the object. It's useful for things like portrait photography, AR, measurement of effects, and it plays really a big part for Note 10 3D scanning application. I think I will do a separate video purely based on the camera lens itself and how to do better shoot. And let's have a quick look at the S Pen. It's the same version of S Pen that they used for the previous model. So nothing much biggest has changed except for the wireless connection. You can do presentation by swiping left and right, which I'm going to cover maybe in the next video. Yes, this is just a quick look at the the Note 10 Plus. I hope you really enjoy this content and if you do, please slap a like button, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Okay, thanks, bye!